Yo, what's good? It's your boy Kami, and I'm bringing you guys a Deep Oaken Verse 2 leveling guide. I know there's a lot of newer players at Deep Oaken ever since Layer 2 dropped, so I thought, why not make a leveling guide from, you know, what I think is the best way to level up from power 1 to power 20 in, well, just a couple of hours. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna hop right into it. Uh, put some timestamps in the description if you're looking for a certain thing. Um, I don't show you where to go to each island. You might have, or not island, but you know, uh, area. You might have to search it up yourself. But without further ado, man, let's just get started. Also, before we start, bro, who is this man's die to? Like, bro, had that curved? Stripping. Anyways, let's just get straight into it. All right, so the first spot we have here is a lower Arisia, or people call it, like to call it Bandit. Um, Mudskipper Cave. This is a good place for beginners to come and try and learn parry patterns and stuff like that. Um, they do have weird parry patterns, and I was in the Cali server, so you know I was kind of just <laughs> getting messed up. But I feel like this is a good place to come and kind of learn the game and how it functions and get well accustomed to it. But if you're newer to the game and don't really have a problem with parrying, I said newer. I'm sorry. If you're accustomed to the game and don't really have a problem parrying, uh, this spot probably isn't for you, and this next spot is probably the best bet for you to go. Alright, so if you are, like I said, more experienced, um, the place you would probably go to when you're just starting out is Rissia, Upper Rissia, and aka Bandit Camp, and just find the bandits as you see uh, here. Uh, they give decent XP, and they all, you know, range in different uh what do you call it different weapons like if they have heavy medium light i don't think any of them have festa but yeah as you can see some spawn out here in this area i'm going to right here they spawn in here they spawn to the left in a tower and then if you just go up here where i'm going and you go straight back and take a left there's usually a bandit leader in the back that you can just you know beat on and yeah you can stay here from one to six and yep that's pretty much it so from level six to ten i'd recommend going to viper's jaw aka Sharko cave and like i said just farm here from level six to level ten sarcos give a very good weapon weapon attunement and very good fortitude uh that's it that is if you get hit as you can see here but um yeah just farm from here um they get pretty good drops the megalodon code is good uh umbral obsidian is good because you know you can up or you can unlock a uh, shadow cast and yeah i do recommend that if you are new to the game do not use this method instead attract the sharko and go back to the entrance from where you came from they get stuck on the wall and you can just kind of farm them and yeah that's, this is pretty much it for six to ten kind of simple you're here for only a little bit but it gives good xp and a little bit of good loot so from 10 to like 13 i would either go to minotaurus here although i don't really recommend it because they have shadow cast which drains ether and they have uh, light weapons which is kind of hard to parry but i would either go there or come here to song seeker uh song there's a lot of song seekers so it's easier to get jumped and like a lot of people gank at song seeker but if you're you know confident or just want to get the levels out the way or you have friends uh, i would definitely recommend coming to song it gives good xp um doesn't really ever have any loot drops i don't think i've ever gotten any loot from song seeker but i've definitely gotten a lot of levels and yeah i just recommend coming here from like 10 to 13 maybe 14 and yeah so from like 13 to like maybe 16 i had to come here to hive uh you know hive is it's if you're not prepared it's pretty hard crocos are kind of annoying and especially like i remember when i first started playing deep Oaken, crocos were definitely debating my existence they also have the um the the javelin dudes the, i forgot their names i'm sorry it's like it's 3 38 a.m right now but um they throw the ride javelin javelin and it auto grips and it's very annoying but yeah, I just uh, stay here from 13 and 15, maybe 16. And around 16, you can, oh, W Man's by the way, bro, drop me a katana. But um, from like 13 to 16, and then at 16, I had to go farm Duke back at Arisia. 
for your bell and Duke could probably get you from level 17 to 18 but if you don't feel like doing Duke for your last levels the next area will definitely help you get that done so from there until max level there's a lot of ways you could hit 20 but I guess one of the more riskier and rewarding ways would probably be the depths farm um, in this clip the the depths was kind of like passive like I didn't see a shark or an owl a king croco I didn't really see anything but gigameds and uh, yeah you can either come down here and uh, farm mobs here with the risk of getting ganked and wiped or just wiping from a mob in general uh, you can do this you can farm Duke until max level which is kind of tedious you can stay at a hive until max level which is also kind of tedious um, there are just a lot of ways you can farm and get max level from depths and this next clip is just me doing depth trial the mob changes depending on what level you are but you know since you know like earlier we were doing sharkos uh sharkos pretty easy as you can see i get kicked there but it's you know it's whatever and uh yeah we just all right uh so this is real time footage of how to escape the depths um first of all if you're at no slope as you can see the entrance of the thing has no slope you just want to go ahead and come on in turn to the left stay left until you get to this building right here you know you, you've arrived and you see barrels and you just want to go ahead and get to climbing on up just go ahead climb on up use the barrels that are already here i have high agility so i can just go ahead and boom bop bam all right and you just keep going always oh, somebody got spotted by angels down there don't worry about that but just keep on going climbing the things till you get to here and you just want to go ahead drop on down you break your legs a bit don't worry about that drop on down and wrap around until you get to the entrance and go inside and for the other entrance which is slope and uh, we call it slope because it has a slope pathway as you can see it is just a straight shot all the way to the back see i'll show you the sloped entrance right here you just come straight back the gate is not always open though you will have to hop sometimes to find an open gate server but once you do you just waltz right in and do your depth trial and pray don't wipe <laughs> but yeah that's uh that's how you escape that's the leveling guide I'm probably going to do an outro. I'm going to go ahead and escape myself. But, yeah. I don't trust this guy. I'm logging. Alright, so, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was a leveling guide. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Um, like I said, this is my personal preference. You do not have to follow this guide at all. You can follow somebody else's guide or follow your own. But, um, yeah, like I said, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Join the Discord. I love you all. Drink water. And, uh, yeah, man, peace. Have a good day. Love you.